ASMR Rose. Greetings. What brings you to my doorstep on this day, stranger? Not so loud. You're just gonna you're just gonna up and say that, right, to the whole thinking neighborhood? Did you not do you not know the protocol? Alright, just what is the password? That's not the past mm. Okay, okay, um just just show me the pull up the Facebook page on your phone and I'll then I'll know. Hmm. All right, fine. You seem legit. I just come on in. Come on. All right, you're going to have to learn to be a lot more discreet. We're planning an, a raid here. Like, you can't just you can't just go blabbing to everyone. Yes, I know it's a public Facebook page, but do you think the government looks at that? Do you think anyone's like? <laughs> monitoring us and collecting information from social media to learn more about us and know our plans and if we're conspiring against the government. What are you, a conspiracy theorist? Okay, well. Nice to meet you. I am in charge of, well, at least partially in charge of planning the Area 51 raid. Mm-hmm. No, I'm not five. I'm 12 and a half, excuse you. Shut up. Anyway. Right, so we have a lot to go over. And you're just going to need to quiet down, sit down, and listen. Because I don't want any hiccups in this plan. We're going to free them aliens. And we're going to do it right. Okay? Okay. So. This rectangle represents area 51. Our target. You understand that, right? Oh, thank goodness. Okay. So, we have a whole lot of different kinds of people in on this raid, so I'm trying to work out how to best utilize all their strengths and weaknesses. Mm hmm. Well, one idea is that we send in the Karens first. Mm, like, we send them right in, and they have to speak to the manager, and that just, you know, distracts people in charge long enough for us to do things. That's, that's one idea. Mind you, I mean, that only works if the Karens aren't shot on sight upon, like, approaching the building. But, you know, in, in, in war we make sacrifices, so. Yeah. So, also an idea uh, that I really rather like. So we have the areas in artists. Now, I've acquired some lovely some lovely camo outfits. They're like full body camo jumpsuits. And what I was thinking is we give those to ASM artists so they can sneak in undetected. And then they use the power of ASMR to relax all the guards and put them to sleep. I think this plan is quite good. We may not even need the Karens, really, if the ASM artists can do this. I mean, who needs Karens anyway? I mean, the main flaw with that strategy, though, is that, like, not everybody is susceptible to the tingles. So, like, maybe not all of the Area 51 people, like, the guards will fall asleep and stuff. And, I mean, who knows? Maybe everyone that works at Area 51 just doesn't like ASMR. I mean, uh, you never know. So... We need to have a lot of people in play to make sure that at least one group succeeds. So then, we have the Naruto Runners, who I figure will rush the building from kind of most sides, really. I mean, not all sides, but kind of, we're kind of going in a, a circle, but not a circle. Do you get what I'm saying? Do you understand? Look at my diagram that I'm drawing just for you so you can comprehend with your little fool brain. All the Naruto runners will rush the building from one side, more or less. And, um, I think maybe they can successfully take out whoever the ASM artists can't take out. I mean, that's a thought. 
But I mean, to back up the Naruto runners, we have some rock throwers, and I don't understand them or what they're doing, but they're throwing rocks, so I mean, like, that's good, right? That'll help. So, yeah, and I've been informed that we have the tiles, and I don't have a single clue what that means, but apparently they, like, I don't know, I think they're strong, so I'm gonna have them come from the other side of the building that the Naruto runners aren't on, and hope that they do something useful. Yeah, I'm gonna stick them over there. And I don't, yeah, I don't get it, but, you know, there's a lot of different groups, like I said. Also, I'm really struggling with knowing what to do with the furries. Like, what, what are the furry strong suits that I can use for this raid? I don't know. I'm gonna work it out, though. I haven't figured that part out yet. But the furries are on board, I've discovered. We have them, we have them on board for this endeavor. And I will take all the allies that will join us. So, there are like a lot of factions I can cover today with you as you know where they're all stationed, where we're all going to come in from. But um, also I really want to talk about this idea I have, I'm going to try and negotiate getting uh, like vloggers on board here so that we can get them to document everything. I feel like perf perfectly, like, documenting the raid is going to be very, very important. Because either we're going to have the vloggers document that we have, like, that we found the aliens here inside the building, and that we freed them, and it'll be, like, a historical thing. Like, I teach it in the schools as the day the aliens were liberated. I teach it to all the human-alien hybrid children. Or, um, or if we all get viciously gunned down then maybe the vloggers, some of them will survive with their footage to, uh, kind of tell people what happened to us and kind of have a little don't forget the Area 51 massacre thing. But, like, I'm very hopeful that it will be a nice documentation of freeing the aliens because my plan is good. Don't you agree? Well, you're here, so... I mean, you must agree that this is a good idea, somehow. Alright, well, before we go into any more specifics of the different groups and stuff, I need to take some information about you, so that, like, I know where to stick you and, like, what your strong suits are and junk. So, first I need to know your name. Okay. Is that your real name, or...? Uh-huh. And how old are you? Hmm. Right, and what are your hobbies and interests? Yes, this is important. Okay, that's kind of weird, but like... I mean, you're completely weird, but I'll, I'll find a way to use it. Would you categorize yourself under uh, any of the factions that we already discussed? Or perhaps one that you know of that I haven't spoken about yet? Like, um, where would you place yourself, really? Not based on your level of, like, safety, but based on who you are as a person. Mm hmm. I see. Well, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, I probably should have figured that out from the start. Okay. And you're definitely able to be there on the day. You aren't one of those people that just is following the, you know, keeping up with the page because they're interested in seeing how it goes. You, you know, you came here to see me about the plan, so I'm assuming that you're committed to this. Yeah, mm-hmm. Well, that's good, because I don't want people there that aren't committed, or I don't want to have people not show up when they said they would, and, like, that's how we get shot. That's how we die. That's how we fail. Because we don't have committed people. <coughs> anyway. Right. 
So, I think I have an idea of where to put you then, and uh, what to have you do. Hmm. We're going to have to meet with uh, some people I have working on gear to help out all the different groups, and uh, kind of get things ready. It's really close to the to-go time here. We're getting, like, real close to the day. You know, I mean, we're in September now. It's We're, we're so close. We, alien liberation is near. We're, we're getting there. So, I'm excited. Are you excited? Alright, well, oh, do you have a ride there for the day of? Like, are you able to get there? You're not sure? Well, I mean... My mommy's gonna drive me, so maybe we, maybe she can give you a ride. I can ask. Okay. Well, I'll put you down as maybe needing a ride, but you have to let me know. Either that, or maybe you can get one of those Ubers. Mm-hmm. Okay, well. Well, alright. So, I'm gonna call my people, and we're gonna get things finalized for you and where you're gonna be. Alright? So, okay. Now let me just say, thank you for joining our raid. The aliens appreciate you. And like, you know, you believe in aliens, the aliens, they believe in you.